your troubles and just get happy. You better chase all your cares away. Shout hallelujah, come on. Thank you for coming to my album pre-release show slash party. Party if you want to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, that last tune you heard was a Harold Arlen tune. Um, it was called Get Happy. Um, I heard it on Ella Fitzgerald, of course, the Harold Arlen songbook record. Um, and it's one of my favorite tunes that she does on there. Um, and I was really excited to play my arrangement of that for you. Um, that is one that is actually on the record. The record's called Good Woman. Um, if you haven't heard at the front, we are selling advanced copies so you can hear it six months before everybody else gets to hear it, which is really exciting and cool, and the cover's all fancy and fun. Um, yeah, so they're at the front. They're on sale for $15 tonight, so buy one for you, buy one for your friends, one for 15, special sale deal, two for 30. Um, that's good, yeah, right? Um, so this next song that we're doing um, is a Henry Creamer tune um, called After You Gone. And I, um, for a really long time now, have loved Stride. And I think David also loves Stride, or maybe he just plays it a lot because I make him play it a lot. So yeah, maybe. Um, but we're gonna do that for you. Um, so this is After You've Gone. gal you've ever knew. Now there'll come a time, don't you forget it, there'll come a time when you'll regret it. Someday when you grow lonely, your heart will break like mine and you'll want me only after you
after you go too far um, in the set, I want to introduce these people behind me, making all the noise with me, supporting all the noise. Uh, it's really good noise. I like the noise. On piano, we have David Mescatique. Yeah. Yeah. On bass, we have James Souter. Yeah. And on drums, Daniel Dufour. Yeah. Um, so this next song that you're going to hear is one that I heard um, on actually a Martina da Silva before she was just herself, I guess. I suppose she was herself in this too. She was in a band, it's called The Ladybugs. Um, and they um, are a trad group and they did this song and it was what introduced me to Martina's voice. She was actually here this summer and I met her and I love her, she's the best. Um, so this is a tune called Say It Isn't So. You can't stop people from talking And they're talking, my dear And the things that they're saying Fills my heart with fear no, I could never believe them When they say you're untrue
Thank you. Thank you. Um, this next tune is another one that's on the record, and one that um, is one of my favorites. This is from a musical that I'm sure a lot of you know. This is from Funny Girl. Um, and this is called If a Girl Isn't Pretty. Um, and a lot of what my record, I think, is about is um, taking tunes written in these um, eras where women weren't spoken about so fondly. And a lot of the songs that um, jazz musicians play and sing um, are written by men from the female perspective, um, which is really funny because women have their own perspectives. Um, and I think this, <laughs> you know and I think this song is one that really um, nails it with um, just commenting on women in the entertainment business and it's really tongue-in-cheek um, yeah so this is um, if a girl isn't pretty gets in life is pity and a pet is a nose with deviation such a crime against the nation should we throw her into jail or drown the cat she must shine in every detail like some rain Standard size that fits a standard dress. When a girl's incidentals are no bigger than two lentils, well, to me, that doesn't spell success from before. That will cause you to have temporary nausea. Do I have to hear a lecture such as that? Kindly name a star who hasn't won a contest or a pageant. If she hasn't, she just never.
don't know what that song's about. You guys are all beautiful, I'm sure. Um, this next song is um, oh, it's another, another one from um, a musical. It's, um, oh boy, what's it from? It's from A Star Is Born. I was just talking about this with my friend, um, which has been remade several times. Um, this is a Gershwin tune, another one that I heard off of the Harold Arlen record because they collaborated on this one. Um, and this is one that I think the words speak for themselves. It's, it's written by a man from a, a, a woman's perspective, um, but I think this is less egregious of the ones. Um, so this is The Man That Got Away. The night is bitter. The stars have lost their glitter. The winds grow colder and suddenly you're older. And all because of the man that got away. No more his eager call. The man that won you has run off and undone you. The great beginning has seen the final inning. I don't know what happened. It's all crazy. Yeah.
fun um this next song is another one off the record um and this song and this artist um they're really special to me um dave frischberg is someone who i really deeply admire and look up to he's a writer a singer a pianist a really important fact about dave frischberg everybody knows schoolhouse rock correct yes everyone knows their conjunction junction and their i'm just a bill I'm Just a Bill specifically was written by Dave Frischberg, his large claim to fame. But I won't be singing that tonight, don't worry. Um, you guys wish, I bet, huh? Um, we could all sing together, no. Uh, but this, um, he writes uh, these songs that are kind of in the vein of um, just more modern lyricism um, with the harmony that us jazz musicians love so much. And this song specifically is a very heart-wrenching song. Um, and two years ago when I um, discovered this song, I wrote an intro and um, an outro that I thought kind of added another layer to it. And it's um, really become one of my favorites to do and one of my favorites to share. Um, so I really hope you enjoy this. This is You Are There. Just like you wanted to Not a page left unchanged No more plans to be made Am I still awake In the evening When the kettle's in for tea An old familiar feeling settles on it's your face I see And I believe that you are there In a garden When I stop to touch a rose I feel the petal soft and sweet Against my nose I smile and I suppose that Somehow maybe you awake without a warning and I rub my eyes and fantasize all at once I realize it's morning and my fantasy is 
Thank you. Um, okay, this next one's gonna be fun. This is James Souter, everyone. Say hello. Yeah. hello. <laughs> Hi, James. Hi, James. Um, fun fact about James is he actually went to the school that I go to right now. Fun fact. Everyone throw your U's up there. It's all about the U. The U invented swag, right? This is true. Um, and we both have it, right? Yeah, okay. Anyways, <laughs> this next song um, is a Frank Foster song, one that I heard on, of course, an Ella recording. There's no surprise there. Um, I love her to bits and pieces. She's the best for a reason. I don't care what people say about her being too mainstream. Um, so me and James are going to take a crack at um, one of my favorite tunes recently. I just... Um, added this one to my to my book, if you will. Uh, this is a tune called "Shiny Stockings." Shiny stockings that I wear when I'm with you. I wear because you told me, you told me that you dig that crazy hue. Do we think of romance 
happens when we go to a dance oh no you take a chance on those shiny silk stockings then you came along with some chick who had great big shiny stockings too when you changed your mind about me why i never knew I guess that I'll have to try a new, a, a new guy, a guy who digs my shiny stockings to my shiny that believe it or not <laughs> um, okay this next one is really fun and I really love it and um, it's an Irving Berlin tune um, famously recorded by 
Hank Mobley, and we'll come back to that later, so keep that in your mind. Um, but uh, I first heard this done by a singer named Joe Laurie, who actually sings background for the band Sting. Is anyone familiar? Yeah? yeah? Yes, well, this is not Sting, so I hope you didn't get your hopes up there. Um, but this tune is called Remember, and Joe Laurie wrote a vocalese to Hank Mobley's solo. Um, and a vocalese, if you don't know, is when someone writes lyrics to a solo that has already been improvised, right? Okay, so Joe Laurie wrote lyrics to the Hank Mobley solo, and tonight, Kate Gordon will be singing those lyrics, and these boys will be playing with me. <laughs> Hopefully, maybe singing the lyrics if they want to. They know them. They, we shut it for hours and hours yeah. before this. They so they wrote it down. They were really prepared. Um, so this is, that wasn't a dig. That was just, I was trying to, I was off the cuff. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. Anyways, <laughs> stick to the script, stick to the script. Um, so this is Remember, Irving Berlin, Joe Laurie, Hank Mobley, and now Kate Cordham. You were showing her such a good time You were 
holding her hand just the way that you held mine. And I could see she was in love from all the nothings that she whispered in her ear. tune that we're going to be doing is another one that I love so much and also one that's going to feature someone who hasn't been featured just yet. That's Mr. Daniel Dufour on the drums. <laughs> yeah? Um, this is a tune from a movie called The Girl Rush. Don't be sad if you haven't seen it. I, I, I watched a little bit of it. It's not that great. However, the song is really good and Something about this song and about the movie is it messes with the trope that men go on these lavish vacations to watch these working women in little tiny swimsuits and they mess around without their wives, you know, knowing. Anyways, this flips that around um, and says that the woman is going to be doing the watching and doing the vacationing. And so I love this song for that reason. It's really fun. Um, and it's called... Um, an occasional man, so fits that really well. Um, yeah, and it's gonna feature Daniel. So yeah. I've got an island in the Pacific and everything about it is terrific I've got the sun to tan me Palms to stand me
I should ever leave it, I'd be crazy. I've got the piest peaches, sandy beaches, and an occasional man. When I go swimming, I am always dressed in style. You know, cause I go swimming wearing just a great big smile. My little island such a beauty you may forget to heed the call of duty but when the hours grow later what is greater song is another good one, another one that I first heard on a Martina Da Silva album, but after that I heard it on, of course, um, the Ella Fitzgerald version with her. She had Louise Jordan, I think that's how you, Louise, Louise, anyways. I really wanted to have him tonight, however, I got someone that's almost as good, but is my best friend, and also lives with me, and I also dragged her um, here to Austin, Texas. She's from Santa Cruz, California, and I told her you are required to come with me here. So she's here, she's back there, and I'm going to bring her up right now. This is my friend, June Cavlin, all the way from both Miami and Santa Cruz. Um, this is a tune called I'll Never Be Free, and um, I hope you enjoy.
We have to have the words up. I'm so sorry. Is it this one? Um, I found it, you guys. Don't worry, I'm sticking to the script. Thank you. Technology is really hard. Um. Each time I hold somebody new, my arms grow cold, aching for you. No one can take your place, darling, in my embrace. I'll never be free.
Jen Kaplan. Okay. This next tune um, is another Dave Frischberg tune, another one that I um, discovered, actually, I think just a little bit under a year ago. Um, and I was kind of struggling with mm, figuring out what, who I was. And I, you know, I mean, of course, you're always struggling with that and everyone's always struggling with that. But as a musician, I think we fall especially susceptible to um, imposter syndrome and just feeling like we're kind of aimlessly wandering. And I feel like that a lot sometimes. Um, and this song I heard and I just knew that I had to grab it and do it right away. Um, it talks about the dangers and um, how scary it is to follow your dreams and how much you risk by stepping in the deep end and taking that step. Um, and I think as artists and musicians and as people in general, we take a lot of risks. Um, and Dave Frischberg does a really amazing job of capturing that in this song. Um, so me and David are gonna do a song called Heart's Desire for You. If you should decide to see your special dream, your heart's desire, nothing you can ever do will bring more joy to you. And if you're wise, you'll recognize your guiding theme, your heart's desire. Follow that and you may make your dearest dreams come true. But if you seek your heart's desire, your heart may break. That's the risk your dreams require. The chance you Take the choice you make and soon enough the seasons start to slip away so seize the day and if the fates are kind then you will find your heart's desire
Thank you. David Muscatine. Oh boy, I have a lot to say right now. My script is, it's got red ink and scribbles all over it. Um, no, but really thank you so much um, for coming out tonight. We have one more for you. But before that, I have a lot of things to say, so don't leave just yet. But um, like I said in the beginning, um, I worked really, really hard on this record, and it's got a lot of people from school in it, and um, I'm really proud of how it turned out. Um, and I want to give a huge thanks and acknowledgement and just talk about Bandstand Presents and Christian Wiggs and Kirk and all the people that make everything that happened with this and a lot of things at Monks and kind of me in Austin possible. Um, they're not only physically but digitally releasing my record, Good Woman. It's um, their first digital release. Um, and I'm really excited to be partnering with them to release this. And like I said, if you want the advanced copy, we're selling them for $15 at the front with Colin um, six months before it gets out on the iPhones and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I really have um, kind of no words and also so much gratitude for what um, Bandstand Presents and really especially Christian Wiggs does for me um, here and there. Um, and I also want to thank Colin Shook and everybody on sound and lights. Let's hear a hand for Colin. He runs around and does all this stuff and makes it happen. And somehow every night it works. Um, I would never be able to do that. So very, very good. Um, I want to also thank David Mescatique, James Souter, and Daniel Dufour for making the racket behind me and with me and reading my music and following my ideas and just going with me. Um, I want to thank June Cavlin for coming here. I dragged her all the way here, and she did it so very willingly. Um, I want to thank my family, who's right here. Um, and they came all the way up from Houston just for this one night, and they had a, a really big part in me doing music and also the production of this record. Um, I want to thank Eric Stern, Patrick Levy, Jacob Smith, Sten Greifer, Aiden Smith, Keith Weber, those are all the people that I can think of that had a part in making my record happen. Ryan Hornclegg, um, Alejandro, um, guys, my script doesn't say all these names. I'm just saying them right now. Um, anyways, everybody that had a part in making this happen, making this debut record happen for a young lady in college who's got a lot of other things to do, but really wanted to do this. Um, I'm really thankful. For them, and I'm really thankful for David for playing this music right now. Gosh, it'd be so boring if I was <laughs> speaking without this and he's just making it up all on the spot. That's crazy how jazz works like that. God, oh, and now James is joining. We're just gonna play a whole, oh, I guess I'll leave now. Um, okay, this last song is really exciting. Whoa. And it's a brand new arrangement of mine. And um, I brought it in for the first time at school and I was told that it was really hard. Um, but. They didn't say that, so um, maybe it's not really hard, or maybe they're just really good, and I think that's kind of it. Um, so this is a tune from a m musical that I never heard of. It's called Whoopi, um, but it's called Love Me or Leave Me, um, and it's gonna be fun. So once again, thank you guys so much for coming out. I really appreciate it. This is my second time doing a solo show at Monks. I was here like a year and a half ago with some of these guys up on stage. And I really, I love this space. It's amazing. Make it back when you can. Um, so this is Love Me or Leave Me.
getting with somebody Two minutes. 